All right, guys, so today my husband and I were gonna make a bird feeder stand. Found this log, little four by four here from the garden bed, and I'm gonna have to wash it. Let it dry there for a couple hours. These are pretty big in this. Alright you guys, so the wood is dry and we are gonna paint it white. Okay. We're gonna hit this with more than one coat. The first coat's gonna go on a little bit light because wood is very absorbent and so it's gonna soak a lot of this paint in. But the first coat will act as like a primer so it'll soak in but then when it dries it makes it to where the second coat will go on and be nice and even and thick. Wear a mask you guys. Or be outside in a very well ventilated area. Second coat is going to be on. Okay, you guys, the wood is dry. So that's the semi gloss polyurethane. Just happens to be what we have from various other projects. So we'll use it on this. Give it a little bit of a stir. You don't want to, when you're stirring polyurethane, you don't want to stir vigorously because it'll put bubbles in it. Definitely don't want to shake uh, because then when it's bubbly, the bubbles don't pop and then it dries when you put it on and it's rough. And then we're just gonna Paint it on. And this is just because this is going to be outside. Of protection. At least that's the plan, anyway. So now that our polyurethane has dried, the next step is we're going to start fitting on our hangers. And so we want them roughly in the middle. Uh, I don't want to put it all the way to the top because we can go down and get like a decorative uh, post top like we have on the, post, uh, the fence posts. Uh, so I want to make sure there's enough space. So about an inch and a half gap down. And what I want to do is get this as close to the center of the board as possible. So the way that I'm going to do that and to keep them level is roughly mark out where I want it to be and I'm using my my square here so I'm just going to put down and as you can see at about an inch and a half it doesn't have to be perfect just as long as it's pretty much the same on all levels so once I have my mark then I flip it okay that's good draw the line draw the line so on and so forth the next thing that I did was as you can see the board is approximately three and a half inches wide so one inch and three quarters is the middle of the board so on all four sides I drew a little mark just so that way I know where the center of the board is um, for each of those ones to go in the next thing that I'm going to do <coughs> is now I'm going to dry fit this so I know that this is going to be on here more or less like that, you know, and you can make fine tune adjustments and if you're off a little bit, it's not going to really be noticeable by the eye. And then underneath, I'm just going to draw a quick line at the bottom of this. So that way I have an idea of how far the base needs to go. And then I'm going to repeat the process with the level on all four sides. So then that way I can know where I need to line my hangers up in order to then start the next mounting process. So 
So now with all the lines drawn, I can easily put this thing on here and line it up to where, as you can see, the, the little marks are pretty well centered. And I'm just going to use my pencil here again to mark in the holes where the screws are going to go to mount that in. And then just repeat the process on all four sides. So now with all of our our um, spots where we're going to screw put the screws in and indicated we're going to use a little center punch give a little tap and all this is going to do is give us a guide for the screws going so we have everything center punched out so the next thing i'm going to do is, is these are the screws that are going to go in i mean and you probably could get away with trying to put them in by hand but just to make the job a little bit easier i'm going to pre-drill the holes so that way it makes it much easier to have the screws go in so now we have this is the underside of our board and what we're going to do is just draw an x from corner to corner and what that's going to do is give us the center point of the wood or of the bottom so right here's center point except we'll take our center punch We'll pre-drill this for when we mount it to the bucket. And all this thing does is help you make sure that the you're keeping the drill bit straight. So to help keep this thing upright, we're going to use this bucket. So the bucket's going to go over here, we're going to poke a hole so that way we can put a bolt and attach the bucket to our board. And then we'll fill the, the rest up with rocks, so that's the next step. position in the bucket. Mm, this is going to be my, so maybe put this where. Do you want this to be straight with the picture? Yeah, okay. yeah. Okay. Bird feeder stand, you guys. It's coming along. It's pretty straight now. Can you hold this for a second? Try to make sure you hold it straight, okay? Mm -hmm. I think we're gonna need two bags, babe, of the rocks. Do you want to fill it all the way up? I didn't think. Is it steady? I thought it was steady. I don't care. Maybe not. Maybe it. Yeah, I think it works. Yeah, that should work. Oh, I think it's gonna be pretty. Look at that. Yeah, you could. You could fill it up. Yeah, maybe one more bag. Yeah. Okay, well, I mean, for the time being, not bad, though. Yeah. So. 
Oh, my little girl, she wants to get in. Hmm. And the finishing touch, put a little cap on there. You got a nail? You got to put a nail up. A nail right here, because the wind's going to yeah. blow it out. Is that the cap you want to put on it? Or yeah, that'll you... match. Okay. That... Perfect. Woo! Check that out. Too heavy for the table? Mm -hmm. Ooh, Find out. I hope not. Yeah, it looks good. Yeah, I think it looks nice. And then we have the uh, bird feeder up, and it's going to be set. Beautiful. Thank you. Thank you, babe. You're welcome. Isn't that pretty? Yay! Sad. So the ratio to the uh, sugar water is four to one. Four cups of water, one cup of sugar. And then um, let it cool down and pour it in. So we are gonna seal this tight and the rules is you're supposed to clean your feeder twice a week with warm or hot water and soap that way they don't get sick there we go. how exciting been wanting this for a while but life is just too busy and I finally got it tip it over and then we're gonna hang I think I'm gonna have to put string on these ones. The new ones I got. I'm gonna hang it here. They like bright red, so they're coming when they see the uh, feeder hanging on here. I think it looks great. What do you think? Wow. Yeah. Fancy schmancy. I even got the, the bird feeders here sitting next to it. Let's spin it around. Okay. So that's the setup right there. All right, you guys. So there is a one bird feeder here with bird seats on. And then a knee. This is, I have three bird feeder uh, for the hummingbirds to come. I did the uh, sugar water myself. Yeah, it looks great. I love it. I love it. Yeah, hoping to attract a lot of birds in this area. Yeah, look at that. That is so pretty. Thank you, husband. Thank you, thank you. Okay, that's from the distant. Gorgeous. Sat mantin. Sat na. Yeah. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Thank you. Look at the, there's a bee over already over there.